ready to be praised. Amen. Um, it seems like the, the last few days that the Lord has just been dwelling, you know, dealing with me on the fact of having something to do. And I think all the messages lately that we've been hearing, and I, we were, Brother Pat and I were talking the other day, and I said, you know, whenever God gave the people the, the land he promised them, the land of Canaan, he told them it flowed with milk and honey, amen, but they had to cross over Jordan. But you know they had to do something in order to, to receive that land. Yeah. They had to go in and they had to fight all the enemies, amen. Now God gave them the equipment and the way to do it on each and every one of them. And it was just like he was talking about uh, Sunday morning with breaking down the walls of Jericho, you know. God gave them the way to do it, but they still had to do something. And it's the same way with us. God has given us a Holy Ghost and equipped us. But we still have something to do. Amen. We have something we have to do. And Brother Mike was teaching a well last night. We have to say to be sanctified, amen, against that third day, don't we? Amen. Hallelujah. We have to do something. Yep. We have to make it have a paradigm shift. Uh -huh. We have to uh, move and do things a little bit different than we've done them in the past. So now God equipped us, but we we still have to do something, just like they had to do something to obtain and to move in to their land that God had promised yes, them. Sure. We have to do something to move in the land that God has promised us. Right. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. God's good. Yes. Yes. Because if you want God to make an effort, you got to set it up. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's no, no going back. Amen. It's going forward. Amen. 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 We're going to take our prayer request.